Hi gardeners, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanna cover some of the most uncommon plants you may find. So we have a wide range of different fruit trees, ornamentals, medicinals here at the property or here at the farm. Now, we also have a small selection of weird and uncommon plants you may have never heard of. So in this video, I'll be covering my top five uncommon plants that I find very interesting and I think you would too. So let's go to our very first one. So coming to our very first group of plants, we have the shampoo ginger. So this is how the plant looks like. It prefers to be grown in full sun or in partial sun. Either or works great. But if we move this around, look at these bright red flowers that almost look like mini torches. Now, you may wonder why is it called shampoo ginger? Well, when you squeeze it, this liquid that comes off of it is a natural shampoo. It's great for promoting hair growth. It improves hair quality and prevents hair loss. So this is one of the coolest flowers and plants I've seen here at the property. And I'm going to be taking some to my house as well. Not to mention the florally organic smell of it is just out of this world. It's so refreshing and calming. So the next one on my list is actually one that I constantly mention because I'm so fascinated by it. The gummy worm fruit tree. So this fascinating tree produces these hands or these fingers that the skin of it or the outer part of it falls or it loosens when it's ready to eat and it tastes exactly like a gummy worm. Now I have never tried this, however, um, many people have and they have verified the taste of it. This is such a cool tree. It's a very good tree and something that I researched upon it is that over time it'll become hollow on the inside. So that's a cool fact to know about the gummy worm uh, tree. It's also called Cecropia. It's such a cool fruit tree and it's great especially if you have kids around. This is one of my personal favorite and a customer favorite at the nursery. So this right here is the peanut butter fruit. So it produces these bright orange fruits that when they are ready, they change this deep red color and they taste and have the consistency just like peanut butter. Such an amazing, fascinating fruit. It's also a smaller tree that produces at a smaller or an earlier age. So it's great for anybody that has a little bit of less space to work with. It's great for kids as well. It's a very pretty tree when it's in full fruit. So it's just the most coolest plant ever. And it's not that easy to find either. Next up is actually a trending fruit tree that went viral on TikTok and we have it here and it's actually producing fruit. Let me present to you the Monstera Deliciosa. So this is a fruit that actually went viral on the internet because of this fruit right here. The bloom is outstanding as well. <clears throat> And when it is pollinated, it will become just like this right here. And something cool about it is that it'll take an entire year for the fruit to be ready to harvest. Now that is absolutely crazy to me because I've never heard of a fruit requiring an entire year to ripen. However, this is that fruit. It They compare it to a fruit salad. It tastes like banana, pineapple, mango, a whole bunch of different things. It's a super cool plant, not to mention the, the leaves are very pretty too. It also likes to grow in shade. You can see that another cluster is growing over there as well. So this is a low maintenance, easy to grow plant. And the fruit is so interesting and cool as well. And I can't wait to try it as well. Number five is actually the flowering tree behind me. So next up is the Ylang Ylang tree. If you can look up, this tree is enormous. Now, why is it a rare and uncommon tree to find? Well, let me go ahead and answer that for you. This is the flower used in the perfume Chanel Number no. 5. It's a rare and expensive tree to get, and we are one of the lucky ones to have the tree here in our property. Not to mention the flowers are a bright yellow color. They come in clusters and the aroma is out of this world. This is such a cool tree to have and I'll definitely cherish this one forever. We actually have two of them on the property right here. They were transplanted at this size and luckily they survived. This is just absolutely crazy. 
So that's going to be it for this video. Those are my top five plants that I find that are the most uncommon plants to find and grow in South Florida. They are all super cool, very beneficial. Some of them have different uses. Some of them you can eat. Absolutely amazing to grow. They're low maintenance, easy to grow. The only difference is that they are hard to find. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Sorry that I haven't been posting for a while. School has been taking me super super busy my schedule has been busier now but i will try my absolute best to post more often now especially since i visit the nursery once a week and so i'll be posting more content over here so thank you all so much for watching never forget to grow big ultimate gardeners may god bless all of you guys